Ngayon, Attorney Don Zurillo, the branch court of court of the Regional Trial Court, Branch City, Castle City, Philippines. So, we're going to show you the calendaring function of the e-court system we used here in this particular branch of court. And the generation of the uh, orders also automatically uh, created by the e-court system. So what we need to do is to, first we need to log in in the system, the Quezon City Hall of Justice, e-court system. So, okay, now we're ready to uh, do the calendaring of the cases or scheduled hearing for the particular for a particular case so we're, we're going to go to the calendar menu so this is the previously uh, calendar cases set for hearing for the month of august 2006 so we are on oh, right now we are on august 11 2016 so if you're going to uh, manage the calendar for a particular case, we need to go to the manage calendar, the e-court system. Then you can choose a particular case category. Say for instance, we need to set a particular ordinary civil case for, let us say, for pre-trial. So we need to click the ordinary civil case. So these are the parameters previously set by the court for the hearing dates. So for example, during Mondays, we can set five cases for arraignment on Tuesday five cases also for arraignment so for free trial likewise we can have um, five cases for free trial for that specific date here we can also so after we set the parameters for the number of hearings we can have during a particular date we can save the that one then the system will uh, automatically recognize the parameter set by the court then we can save that so the the court um, sets the parameter based on the actual experience during the conduct of hearing so for example for pre-trial if we usually have uh, morning hearings so we can only set five cases for pre-trial for, pre for a particular date um, the this is based on the actual experience with the court it usually um, takes a long time based on experience to put the parameters here we can only have uh, five pre-trial uh, hearings for that particular date so after we have set the parameters we can save that one then we also have here for uh, icon for holidays and don't hearing days this is for us to set for example if for the month of august we have holidays for example from let us say august 22 to 24 so if we have holidays for august 22 up to August 24 we can set that here then after setting that um, holiday or no no hearing hearing days so the system will automatically uh, acknowledge that um, dates and it will also automatically skip that particular date so that uh, the system will not uh, suggest or generate dates for these uh, holidays so we can after doing that we can say that uh, inputs 
Maybe we can save that one. Okay, so we have successfully do the changes here in the system. So, for example, here in this particular um, case category, since we have we are considering a particular civil ordinary civil case, you can click the ordinary civil case here. So here's the parameter we previously set. Then we can go back to the calendar. So this is the example calendar. So if for example we're going to calendar a specific case, so we can get uh, one case here. So, so for example, we need if we're conducting today a pre-trial hearing. Say for example, for example, for this particular case. So in the case of Bergen Realty Corporation and spouses Casimiro. So this is a, an example of an ordinary, ordinary civil case. So we just need to click on this one. Okay, for example, for this particular case, Organdi Realty Corporation, if for instance we are conducting a pre trial hearing today, so in that case we need a pre trial order. So we need to uh, generate the template. So here we can go to the add document, click on this one, then outgoing document. example we need to have the pre-trial order template so we can create new one for a pre-trial order template so so here's the uh, generated template by the system so we have here the uh, the caption so the jurisdic court's jurisdiction the case title including the names of the parties the plaintiff and the defendant we also have the criminal case number so during hearing the court through the stenographer or the clerk can do the editing here in this pre-trial order so for example we can edit this one it says for example at today's pre-trial conference let's say Juan de la Cruz and say uh, Jane de la Cruz uh, we're in court so we can do the editing here so also for for example for the witnesses for the plaintiff we can have Mark Lester one so the court can do the editing here so also say John Doe so this is just an example on how to edit this particular pre-trial order during the actual conduct of the hearing in open court so after we're done with this editing the pre-trial order you can now uh, furnish the parties with the said pre-trial order so we already have the names of the parties here which will be the recipients of that particular order of the court so for example we need to uh, furnish the plaintiff a copy of the said order so you just need to click here Bergen Real Corporation 
then after doing that you can now uh, release this particular pre-trial uh, pre order but before that since we already concluded the pre-trial hearing so what we need to do is to schedule the next hearing for this particular case which in that in this case after pre-trial order we need to have the initial presentation of evidence for the plaintiff so we need to schedule that one using the calendar uh, generated by the system so here for our next scheduled hearing the system suggests a particular date which is on August 25, 2016 at 8.30 in the morning so we want to have another date for the next hearing we can also have uh, or find another schedule but here since for example we we are okay with the uh, suggested date which is August 23, 2016 so all the dates recommended by the system uh, uh, it's based on the earlier parameter uh, we have set so the suggested date will be based on that uh, parameter so if we uh, set uh, five uh, only five cases to be scheduled for pre-trial for that particular date so that means that the system will be limited on that uh, parameters set by the court so that parameters are usually based on the experience by the court in the actual hearing. So here, after we're done with um, doing the or editing the pre-trial order, then um, sending it to the parties to the case, so we can now release this one. Then here, it, the system will prompt that uh, there are still five slots available for the particular date we choose which is on August 25, 2016 so we can just click here OK so we're done with uh, this one so if if you want to know if we have successfully calendared this case for the next hearing so we just need to go we just need to go back to the calendar icon and look for that particular date which is August 25 so here August 25 so you can click this uh, trial so these are the uh, proceedings uh, set on this particular date which is August 25, 2016 So here's the actual uh, calendar for the scheduled hearing on August 25, 2016 at 8.30 in the morning so this is the actual calendar so we need to check if we successfully calendar the case for the initial presentation of evidence so we need to look for that particular case so here Particularly in item number five, we have the the case we earlier scheduled for initial presentation. So we have successfully uh, calendared the said case for initial presentation of witness for the plaintiff. So this is the the actual calendar for that particular day. So, after we're done with this one, you can now print. So, we just need to click the print calendar icon here. 
Ano ano ba yung dokumento na nagsabi So this these are the items which will appear on the uh, caption of the calendar. So if you are okay with this, you can now submit this one. Now we are ready to print to print the said uh, calendar for that particular day. Now, sir, if you want to view the previously we produced a graph a pre-trial order. If you want to view that order, can you go back to the case records and view the same? Yes, the after we have issued a pre-trial order to the system, we can just go back to the, the specific case, which in this case the Burgundy case. So we just need to go to the cases icon, then look for that particular case. So we need to look for the particular case here. So, here's the case of Burgundy Realty Corporation. Okay. So, here it is, the pre-trial order earlier issued by the court. So, if you need to review this one, you just need to click here. So, Here's the sample pre-trial order we earlier ed edited. Okay. So those are the parties you put, uh, that you uh, typed earlier? Yes, so this one, the appearance of Juan de la Cruz and Jane de la Cruz we earlier typed in the pre-trial order in the name of the witnesses to be presented by the plaintiff. So, you can always um, check here in the system the orders issued by the court. And earlier you mentioned that these orders were issued uh, while the hearing uh, is ongoing. Yes, in open court. Was in open court. What's the difference now that you are able to do that compared before? Before you had, you could, uh, you issued the uh, the order, maybe in the after, the, a few days later, a yes. few days after. So what's the difference now? Before, after uh, the conduct of hearing, so the, the stenographers uh, need to finalize the order uh, issued or dictated by the court. So usually in the afternoon, then after that, after finalizing the order. Uh, dictated by the judge. So that's the time that we are going to print the order that is signed by the judge and issue. But now using the the automated system of hearing with the help of the e court system. So since we already have the um, templates for a specific order, so right there and then the judge to the stenographers or the clerk can do the editing in the set template, then after editing that order, you can now uh, uh, issue immediately to the parties in that particular case. So no need for uh, the parties to wait for days just to receive that order uh, dictated or issued by the judge. In terms of your work, how does it does it shorten your work? Does it speed up your work? Yes, especially in uh, calendar cases because all the informations are already uh, here in the system. So you can just click this a particular case, then schedule it using the uh, suggested dates based on the parameters earlier set by the court. So it is much easier for us to calendar cases using the system, unlike before, which we need to um, get all the case folders, voluminous files, in order to uh, review the cases and schedule it manually. So right now, we can automatically uh, calendar the cases using the e-court system.